Welcome back everybody, this is Steve KM9G and today I was playing around with some Raspberry Pi stuff for an upcoming video and I got some RFI problems. So I wanted to stop everything and start focusing on solving the RFI problems and I figured I'd bring you guys along for the journey. These things here over my shoulder are the ferrite beads that I had in my shack in my box. You guys all know about my collection of uh, postal mailboxes behind me full of junk and uh, I figured I'd try them and see if they work. I don't know what mix they are. I'll leave a link to these in the description down below. They do work. It's kind of janky, I'll admit it, but uh, it works. It was something I had on hand, figured why not try it, and now I have this extra long, interesting looking power cord. There are probably better ways of doing this. If you have a better ferrite bead for solving this problem, uh, I'd be happy to hear about it in the comments down below, but stick around and watch how well these things do work because this is where it gets interesting and I was I was hoping that uh, sharing this would be something you would be interested in. See you after the break. Okay, so I need to take a quick break here to play RFI Detective. So I've got the radio on, don't hear anything, everything's fine. Let me even turn up the volume to make it more more obvious. So the volume's turned up, everything's running fine. What I did was I plugged in the Raspberry Pi to the wall ward, like so, and then the second that I turn the Pi on, the radio goes crazy. So the Pi is generating RFI, right? Something in the Pi setup is generating RFI. So I have this battery pack that is supposed to be meant to power cell phones and it outputs outputted out, output power rating is DC 5 volts 2 amps so I take this and I plug it in to the Raspberry Pi and then we turn it on and nothing so the problem is the power supply well something but a lot better than it was. So let's turn that off, get rid of that noise. Let's do some ferrite beads. I don't even know what these are. These were just random ferrite beads I ordered off of Amazon. Let's see if there's any markings on them. All right, random ferrite beads off of Amazon. Absolutely zero markings. I'm gonna try and put a couple of these on the power supply cord and see what happens. All right, so here goes nothing. I got all those toroids opened up off camera because that was that was fun, I gotta tell you. We got the radio in the same position. We got the volume in the same position. What I'm gonna do is plug in Yon Pi and turn it on. Turn that, down to a use, turn that down to a useful volume level and then start snapping on toroids. One is not enough. Two is not enough. Number three doesn't work. six of those on the wire were not enough. Plan B. C? D? I think we're up to D now. Plan D. Okay, so I put them on this end of the power cord. Let's try this instead. Raspberry Pi is on and we have no noise. Awesome. So what I'm going to do as an experiment is I'm going to take them all back off and put them on one at a time from that other end and see just how many it takes. All right, now we're back and I have naked power cord. Woo! Plug it in, turn the Pi on, hear the noise. 
make some progress. Three, getting better. All right, four. And I think we're at the point of no return with four. Excellent. That little bit of noise comes whenever the pie actually attempts to do something, as opposed to just sit there. And I don't know that I'm going to get away from that, because you heard before we shut off and rearranged, that I was still getting a little bit of that. But I'm happy with that. That is A-OK. -okay. Oh, hey. Thanks for being awesome.